What up, your boy T Bear here with the reaction. So I have to come across this um, when I looked up the Bleach Live Live Adaption um, trailer, though. And this is a video. It's a video from Watch Mojo. This is called Top Ten Animes You Didn't Know I Have Live Action Adaption. So you know, there's a lot. You, you'd be surprised how many um, live adaption um, versions of animes that's out right now, whether it's Japanese based itself or some American based which Nine times that's not the best one. Let me go to history because I'm trying to see how long ago this was out. I mean, this came out in back in 2017 of December, though, so this is pretty recent, though. So let's see what top 10 animes we did not know. I at least I didn't know had a lot of action and adaption. Again, my it might be one of the ones I've seen already. Like I, I recently I seen the live dash of Attack on Titan, and that shit was pretty lit. And other one I, other one I watched that was live action reaction Japanese base was um, um, Full Metal Alchemist. It was okay, not the best though. But anyway, let's check this shit out. Wow, that's one. Let's keep going. Wait, wait, wait. They made a movie of that. My, my, come on! Detroit Metal City, my really? Wow. I see. Hold on, hold on. Bobby and all Saint, we ain't having that. No, I want to keep this in sync for this. But you didn't mm. know had a live action wow. adaptation. <laughs> Pretty good, <laughs> Sailor Moon. I, oh, Sailor Moon! Wow. <laughs> oh my God, a cat though, really? Before we begin, we publish wow. videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the anime and manga inspired live action films and TV series that you may not have noticed. God, still. that. They can really into a foreign, just as long as they're obscure. Are you serious? Number 10 erased. Ooh, they had a live version of Erased? be one of 2016's best shows. Wow. <laughs> oh, I still haven't watched this anime yet. It's mystery, it's an intriguing supernatural element, along with some visceral. I still haven't watched the Lemon Sinister yet. Upsetting scenes revolving around child abuse and murder. It's definitely not a light hearted I still got a fine time watching it. Right so much, I'm going to kill my mother. This revival is going to be a good one. Its success found itself a live action version that, for the most part, acts as a pretty good abridgment of the show, minus a few cut corners just to arrive at that stinger of an ending. If you're not willing to spend five hours watching the series, then this would be a pretty good replacement. Number nine, another. another. Oh my god, are you serious? The amount of side characters that get knocked off in this ah, series is Lord. And that might actually be a big part of why the show has fans. After all, Death by Umbrella doesn't scream hardcore. Oh horror. no, the the fella bugs up with his too, Lord! As for the live oh, version, god, he's got a live version of the brother! While in others, it's actually funnier. With its low production quality, what you end up watching is a watered down version of Final Destination. God. Okay, ain't that bad, but still. The goes into the kills is gone, but <laughs> Are you serious? The extremely poor special effects. That was so poor, she just stopped. Scared while watching this. Number eight, Mirai Niki. Another, another world. world. Sorry to say, folks, you know Gasai isn't here. So don't go in expecting to see us slicing up people with axes or busting out that famous yandere expression. <laughs> this drama series actually considers itself an original story, separating itself from the source material. Is this the one the Twister shit? Sounds intriguing. What's it about? Oh, a lazy high school student is entered into the battle royale after he finds out his phone can predict the future, and he has a stalker whose first name is, you know, huh. Okay. This should look shitty. Okay, so changing the surnames doesn't count as original. Not that you'll ever care since the Can't quality of the One with the other ones going to be, because so Number far seven, great teacher, Onizuka. Really? Man, 
this guy really okay. He's such a great I stumbled the enemy out of him. I got him to watch the one to check out. However, the one we're focusing on is the original series, starring Takashi Sarimachi. Onizuka is a man who fluctuates between being a total badass, a lovable oaf, and a creep desperate to score some nucky. <laughs> <laughs> the series mostly captures this, but it's kinda hard to ignore how traditionally handsome the lead actor is compared to his anime counterpart. There's no shortage of live action Onizuka to indulge in, but this series is probably the best of the bunch. <laughs> Number six, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. Oh my god, this looks so cheesy. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so damn cheesy right now. You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me right now. This looks so cheesy. Stop. It's hard to completely hate this show. <laughs> wow. Completely. Its transformation sequences. I guess it's high because of the popular Emmy, but, but it must be doing something that right shit to get looks it so shitty and cheesy as fuck right now. Again, you're oh my god. Watching the anime before this, yeah, I'd rather just watch not watch this at all. Lord. Oh my god, this Number looks... five, Kaiji series. While not exactly the breakthrough adaptation, these films are still worthy of praise. <laughs> I don't know too much about Kaiji in this one. Following the gambling exploits of our constantly... Oh, this one, I heard this one, okay. Both the initial flick and its sequel managed to translate the manga's greatest moments, mainly due to the fact that creator Nobuyuki Fukumoto helped to craft the script. Holy shit. Okay. It may not have the stylized tension that made the show such a hit, but look at it this way. Yeah, if this not for the second dry. Kaiji movie, we wouldn't have gotten the second anime series. That alone True. warrants this movie's that's, existence. That sounds interesting right there. Number four, Assassination Classroom Oh series. my god, are you no serious? <laughs> they actually made a live-action Koro Sensei. Oh, oh my god, look at Koro Sensei! <laughs> You know what's even more surprising? They actually made a pretty faithful adaptation. Given how out of the world the original Ooh. series was, even him look, even the, the girly looking one look, well. <laughs> got the hair too, wow. There's obviously a budget behind it. The slime humor goes a long way. If a I might have checked this one out. Class E would be proud. I'm mad to check this out versus this adaptation out. Number three, Terraformers. Really? Takashi Miike sure loves to adapt the craziest side of anime, doesn't he? Ah! Uh, he made what appears to be the first Get the fuck out of here, JoJo. That looks shitty. While the effects and tone of that movie wow. are certainly passable, hell, some fans found it downright enjoyable. The same really can't be said for the previous year's venture. <laughs> Mm. Well, the original Terraformers gave us terrifying humanoid cockroaches and yes. a buffet of gore, the live-action version was pretty poor in comparison. The effects speak for themselves. Right, cause... Ah! Ah! Two, prison school. Oh, Your hell no! Early, right? No, no, Tama, no, Tama, Tama. Hell, hell, hell no. Tell me you really got a lot of it. They not really got a lot of adaptation, uh, adaptation of this damn move. This damn anime. Oh my god, this was sick. While well, also being submerged in more fan service, boobs, edginess, and every other kind of loot content imaginable. <laughs> yeah, well, they made a live action series about that. As you might expect, the proportions of the characters are substantially dialed down. Though to their credit, there's plenty of chest and panty shots. Wow. We'd say kudos to them for sticking to the original works almost to the letter, but in doing so, it actually comes across as even more perverted. Yo, God, are you serious? Number one, 
Dragon Ball, the magic begins. Granddad? The fuck? This magic pole, I can protect you and the pearl from any invaders. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you thought Dragon Ball Evolution was the biggest crime against the mm. DB name? <laughs> Behold, the unofficial Taiwanese adaptation of the Dragon Ball movie, Curse of the Blood Rubies. Not that you'd be able to tell as the that production quality is, is beyond worse. the pale of bad. That's just as bad as the evolution. English dubbing. Okay, I'll oh. show you. Oh my god, he told me that was Master Wolf Chi. <laughs> you can't go wrong with what has to be Goku's second most degrading outing. You're all the dragon. only granted one wish. So Lord, have mercy. You must tell me now. You gotta be shitting oh, wait, me. He's not called Goku in the dub. He's Monkey Boy. Monkey We're not Boy. Joking. Do you agree with our picks? Oh Check out these my other great clips God. from Watch Mojo. This and... shit was the fun. This has got to be most funniest and cheesiest and top 10 anime I ever seen. Almost every single one of them damn shows was like cheesy and shitty. Except the only one out of all the ones they showed, the one, only one I'm curious of checking out is the Assassination Classroom one. But other than that, the the Terraform one, fuck, no, it looks shitty. And another, you know, is crap, is gory, but it's crappy. Erased, I don't want to think I want to watch the series. So the movie, because the series, if that's that depression, the series going to be depressing. I'd rather watch it in an animation form. Um, what else they had? I can't believe they really had a prison school, man. Come on, man. That is just sick. And well, other than that, man, the, 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 the drag and the Dragon Ball one they show is just as shitty as the Evolution one, man. And I, this is re you're really this is rare to hear me call anything shitty. That lineup was shitty, except only one mission is the Assassination Classroom one. But other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know y'all feel about the countdown. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.